Hi again, everybody in Falcon Country. Chris Lewis coming to you from a special moment here at Austin Town Fitch High School. We are celebrating one of our star softball players, Ayla Ray, as she's going to tell us where she'll be playing softball at the collegiate level. And uh, without further ado, Ayla Ray, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Not too bad, why don't you get a little closer to that mic there. All right. Nice and loud. She, she's a little shy when she's in front of a mic, but uh, don't let that fool you. <laughs> uh, who you got with you today? I've got my dad, my three sisters, and my mom. Well, family, it's nice that you can uh, be a part of this, and uh, we welcome you, and we welcome all your teammates and uh, fellow students who came out to, to be a part of this for you. So uh, I always ask this right off the bat. How long have you been playing softball? I've been playing since I've been like four or five with T-ball. And then at eight years old, I joined my first travel team. So was it a sport that you wanted to try for yourself? Or did you have friends that played that you wanted to uh, play at with At first, them? it was just playing with friends. And then when I got to 10, I joined like my first actual like competitive travel team. And that's where I met Sydney. And Sydney is uh, in reference to of course, Sydney Watts, who's a uh, uh, record-breaking pitcher going into her uh, junior season here at Fitch. Uh, for those of you who don't follow Fitch softball, uh, yeah, tune in and uh, come out to games and uh, you know, see some uh, uh, special play. And uh, special play also um, with Ayla here, your shortstop. Um, can you play any other position? Yeah, I've been thrown about everywhere. I play outfield anywhere in the infield. So, you've even been a catcher, somebody said? Yeah. Wow. I've, I've caught Sydney since we were like eight. And then I stopped catching a couple years ago, but and I was, she was my pitcher. Do you prefer shortstop? Yeah. Yeah, the kind of figure. Uh, also, pretty good basketball player, but uh, play softball pretty much year round aside from basketball? Yeah, softball is my main sport. And you said you're on uh, some travel teams from the time you were a youngster. Um, what's the furthest you've gone from home to play uh, in a tournament? Or I, I know you guys do spring break every year um, with Fitch, but uh, you know, what's, what's the furthest you've gone aside from say, you know, the spring break trips to Myrtle Beach? Yeah, I'd probably honestly say that that's the farthest I've gone personally. I know my sister travels a lot more than I do, but... Really? Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool that you get to experience that, especially with teammates, I'm sure. Um, and with that, how have you been able to manage uh, playing basketball and softball? And, uh, you know, we've got crazy practice schedules, games, and, you know, traveling. Still keep up with uh, your schoolwork. Yeah, time management is definitely a big thing. You have to be able to manage playing multiple sports, and you just have to know what needs to be done at one time. And uh, with that, uh, just watching you play, it seems like uh, you've got an ability, an ability to anticipate a play before the ball even comes off the bat. Uh, do you feel that when you're on the field? Yeah, I just try to read where Sydney's trying to throw her pitch. And I just try to so read it. it's all about the uh, the comfort with the pitcher is what yeah. you're saying. Okay, so it's not something that you work on, say, studying film or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. just would you say it's natural instinct? Yeah. Yeah. And great defensive player, but uh, talk about the offensive game here for you as well. Um, picked up your. 100th hit this past season and finished with 119 for the year, if uh, stats are correct. Um, what did getting to 100 hits mean to you? It meant a lot. Um, I've worked really hard on my offensive game, and it's just a great accomplishment. And with that kind of production, uh, you, I've noticed you get walked a lot, and I'm sure that's frustrating. But do you also, uh, on top of the frustration, take it as a compliment, knowing that uh, the other teams are afraid that uh, you know you might get something going? Yeah, definitely. I like it here and there. You like it Getting here and there. 
Yeah. Yeah. You, you have a tendency to, to spark the offense, which is uh, always cool to see. So, um, what is it like when you, you know, get that hit as the leadoff hitter, um, when it comes back around to your turn and just, you know, your teammates feed off of it? What, what does that feel like and what's that mean? It feels great getting my team going and then being able to cheer for them as they get going after me too. Wow, it's very cool. And uh, this is probably a no-brainer, but where would you say you uh, got your athletic ability from? Um, probably my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get we'll get to that a little later on here. But uh, most memorable moment as an individual, and uh, obviously most memorable moment with the team is probably the state title. So, yeah. as an individual, what would you say? My last hit, I had my home run. And if if you didn't get a chance to see that, that was pretty. Let me tell you, and, uh, I was I was there for most of the season, so uh, I I had a bird's eye view. It was it was pretty special. Um, what life lessons are you going to be able to carry on with you from your experience uh, to this point? Um, never give up. Our my sophomore year, we kind of fell short, and so just never giving up. We kept working and got us to where we are now. And what's the support from your family mean to you? It means a lot, just being able to be good at something. <laughs> just, um, just to be good at something yeah. means a lot. <laughs> Anyone in particular who has had a, a major impact on your success uh, on the field? Oh uh, yeah, um, my hitting coach, Bob Smith, he's put in so much work with me over the years from since I've been like 10 years old. Uh, Tommy Watts has been a huge part in my whole softball career coaching me. Um, my parents and Coach Ward especially also. So a lot of people involved, it's uh, not, not, not an individual uh, you know, it, every accomplishment has uh, some sort of help, right? Yeah. Well, with that, let's talk about uh, where you're going to be heading. Why don't you tell us? I'm going to be going to Youngstown State University. Ayla Ray, let's hear it for her. the latest Youngstown State University Penguin. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, go ahead and uh, let's let's make it official and. And while we're uh, waiting for Ayla to sign here, let's, uh, let's talk to mom, dad. What are you guys thinking right now? How are you feeling? Um, pretty excited. Um, I like that she is close to home, that we're able to make a lot of the games. But she's worked really hard, so pretty proud of her. Oh, I'm sure. And dad, you... You've been sitting here uh, in the past. Uh, what's it like uh, sitting on the other side of, as a dad feeling this? Uh, it's, it's just proud of the fact that she's worked so hard to get where she is. And, you know, wherever she goes, we're going to be happy. But the fact that we get to drive right up the road and watch a lot of the games will be a pretty, pretty good thing. And we still get to go home. And, Sleep in our bed at night. <laughs> no, no, no hotel rooms. <laughs> no hotel rooms. Well, there's going to be some away trips, so there will be some hotel rooms, but. Well, that's very cool that you'll be able to support her uh, close to home. So, uh, uh, Ayla, what do you plan on studying? Um, I'm still undecided, but I think I want to work with kids, so something along that line. And what was the biggest draw for you? The Youngstown? Yeah. Um, just being home, I, just being close to home, I know in the campus is nice as well. And you've played there uh, you know, quite often in, in the postseason, so you're familiar with uh, the field down there. Um, does that give you an advantage coming in as a freshman? Yeah, I feel like it does, playing there the past three years. I'm sure. Um, and one of the things that uh, I want to make sure I asked, um, have you thought about what it means to you being an athlete um, at the same school where 
your dad uh, had a, a little bit of success, uh, made a name for himself uh, as, as a member of the uh, YSU football team. Uh, you know, was it like um, following his footsteps, uh, his alma mater, as an athlete? Yeah, it's definitely like keeping the legacy going that he made there, so I step up to that. A legacy, I, I like that. And can you see yourself playing after college or maybe getting into coaching? You said you like kids. Uh, maybe coaching. Maybe? Maybe, yeah. A lot of time, right? Yeah, a lot of time. A lot of time in it. So, well, with that, uh, anything else you want to want to bring up while we're here? No, just thank you for everyone for coming. And we do thank everyone for coming. So, uh, one more time, let's give Ayla Ray a nice big round of applause. The latest Lady Falcon to uh, head off to the college ranks and um, staying close to home at YSU, Youngstown State University. Uh, not only her dad's alma mater, but also uh, my alma mater. So uh, make, make us proud as uh, not only Falcons, but also as Penguins, Ayla. And uh, wish you good luck. And again, this is Chris Lewis coming to you from Falcon Country once again. Ayla Ray, the latest YSU Penguin. Coming from Fitch to play in Division One softball, and gotta love when that happens. And uh, as always, remember show your Falcon pride.